Hi, this is Brandon with Android Advice and Tutorials. Here we're going to go over the Do Not Disturb feature on Android. Um, we've had a few questions about it recently, so we're going to go ahead and, and kind of do a once-over on, on how it works. Now, ultimately, the easiest way to put it in Do Not Disturb is to hit your down volume down arrow until it goes all the way to vibrate, and then tap it one more time. And it will go to a Do Not Disturb for alarms only. Now, in order to turn that off, you just hit the volume up twice, and it'll go back to vibrate again, and it actually turns your ringer on. So that's the easiest way to get to a do not disturb kind of uh, functionality. But if you want more details, or if it keeps turning on and you're not sure why, or uh, anything like that, then you can swipe down with two fingers, and you'll see in your quick notification, or quick options here, um, do not disturb. You can tap that, and you'll get all these options. Um, first of all, if you tap that and you didn't mean to, or you come in here because it's on, you can just tap this and that turns it off easily. Okay, so let's go back to it. Okay, now here are your options. One of them is total silence. Okay, total silence does exactly what it says. It will silence your device for the entire time uh, that you've specified. Now, in this case, it's until you turn it off. You can choose for one hour, um, or you can hit the plus button, and you'll see that it'll increase the time by one hour at a time. It does not allow you to go less than an hour, um, unless it's like within the first hour. So like you can do 15, 30, uh, 45 minutes, but then after that, it's just one hour, two hour, three hour, and so forth. Um, or you can silence it until your next alarm. And of course, my next alarm is until Monday morning at 6.30, and here it is Saturday you know, afternoon, evening. So <clears throat> you can set an alarm, and it will use that as well. Um, alarms only will silence everything but your alarms, of course. And then priority only. Now, priority only has some uh, other features that we can go into kind of on another video or maybe even in an article because there's more to it. But priority only means that certain contacts and certain calendar events and certain alarms even will go off um, that you've specified. So that's the overall setting it. Now there's more settings here. And here you can uh, set up your priority features, which I kind of said we weren't going to go over, but they're here. This is where a lot of this is, or where all this information is, okay? But some people have specified that they are having trouble with uh, do not disturb automatically turning on. Uh, a lot of times that's because there's an automatic rule set up, and that was under more settings, automatic rules. And here you can tell it to turn on uh, the feature on the weekend. Week, certain weeknights, um, during certain events, or even just custom rules that you decide you want to create. Um, so if any of these three are on or you have any additional rules, um, then that is probably the cause of uh, the um, automatic do not disturb turning on. Okay. And you'll also notice here that we're about done. We were playing around in the do not disturb, so it has this little icon with the minus. Um, kind of sign in a circle. That's the do not disturb symbol. That means that your phone is in do not disturb. So we can simply swipe down. We see it there. Tap it. Turns it off. So if uh, you have any questions, just uh, drop a line in this video. Uh, or you can visit us over at Android Advice Tutorials. We've been a little slow there, but we're uh, planning on picking up here shortly. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck.